everybody, it's your old buddy Microchip here on Elm Creek, and this is episode six. I know it's exciting, I can hardly stand it myself. So we are now, uh, we just finished the middle part of August, and now here we are in the last part, or late August, if you will. Uh, so there's a, only thing we're going to look at today is going to be our greenhouses, see how they are uh, uh, working out. First, let's check our uh, equipment here, see if anything is in dire need of repair. Nope, nothing is. Uh, then we're going to come over here. We're going to hop into the vehicular. Uh, oh, yeah, we stopped at that one there. Uh, we're going to, this one did three kilometers yesterday. We're going to zero it out. And then we're going to, it won't go, so i got to start it, turn it off real quick. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go to the next vehicle. Nothing on red, nothing there, nothing there. 0.8 kilometers there. What am I, in the Olympics? Why isn't it miles? Shouldn't it be miles? I must be in the Olympics. Okay, so um, now we're going to go over and we're going to check our uh, pallets. The honey, not ready, so we're not going to pick it up. It's only a partial pallet. Then we're going to look over here at the strawberries. Strawberries are uh, good to go. Uh, so we'll pick those up and we're going to need some lettuce picked up uh, as well. Now, for those of you who may not know, uh, right now we are $30,000 in debt. Uh, so we're trying to get out of debt so we can uh, buy our sheep farm. Uh, so up there in the upper left-hand corner now is our goal. Uh, and the goal says we're going to buy sheep. Uh, bigger sheep farm, more wool, more cash, hopefully get us out of debt. Yep, okay. So uh, what we're going to do now is uh, I have strawberries to pick up. We're going to take a look at our bakery. Uh, with our buddy Fred Topeka. Where's that going to be at? It's going to be down here. Here we go. Uh, and uh, he's got room for more strawberries down there. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to load these strawberries up in the back of the truck and take them down to him right away. No sense of putting them in the uh, shop and then, uh, you know, or in the warehouse, I should say, and then load them on the truck and uh, get rid of them. So we're going to come over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna do this. A lot of practice, a lot of practice. There we go. It's nice. So we're gonna pick up these strawberries, a full pallet of these. And we're gonna inch our way out here. Inch a pinch. There we go. Round we go. Nice, juicy strawberries. Uh, hopefully they can start, uh, you know, making stuff. But we'll, we'll see. I feel kind of bad. I was kind of harsh on Fred before, uh, especially with his wife standing right there. It, it, that was not, that's not cool. Uh, so maybe sometime in the future, uh, I'll make it up to him. But, and, but not until he starts making bread, because if I go down there now, and, you know, I'm all sorry and everything, he's going to think it's okay, you can't make bread and stuff. So we don't want, whoa, whoa, what was that? Something invisible there. Uh, I just kind of ramped over. Alrighty. Stop that right there. There we go. And put that on there like this. And we'll take these down to Fred. See if uh, my Baker Supreme can't get some uh, stuff down. So, uh, whoops, skip. You don't know. No, there we go. What's going on? There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll see everybody down uh, at uh, the bakery. Okay, so there's the bakery there on the left. Let's bring it around here. Still nothing. Still nothing. I, I, I was feeling bad, but I'm not feeling bad anymore because we're going to go out of business. Oh, I'm going to give Fred a piece of my mind. I'm going to give Fred a piece of my... Uh, uh, Fred, I, I, I see your boys are here. Yeah, uh, I, I, uh, I got you guys some strawberries. Hold, hold on, I'll be right back. Big mistake, big mistake. All right, so let's bring these over here. All righty. Uh, unload them, boys. How you doing? Yeah, you guys uh, doing all right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, you know, just dropping off strawberries. Fred's a great guy, isn't he? <laughs> I love Fred. He's a, he's a really good guy. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, we gotta go. All right. See ya. Bye. God, was that guy in the back row holding a pitchfork? Okay. Now the only thing we gotta pick up now is lettuce. That's gonna go right into the warehouse. Let us do that. There we go. Forks down. A little bit up. There we go. That should stab it nicely, and it does. Alright. Don't know if it'll sell anything today. Hopefully something. We'll get a little bit out of that. I don't know. We'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. Drive these back in here. Are these gonna be an upper decker? I forget. I thought, it was, I thought we were upper decker in these, aren't they? No, we're not. We're lower deck. Okay. There we go, right around with the satellite view so it's easier to steer. There we go. And that should do it about right there. Put them down. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, so now we are going to, uh, whoops, shelf in the way. Uh, we're going to check the books, see if we can sell any today. All right, we do have things to sell. Isn't that exciting? We're going to sell our oats to uh, Grand Valley. Uh, I'm sorry, Goldcrest Valley, that's right. Uh, and then the animal dealer is giving me enough money for grass. And the, uh, I think it's called the South Valley Biomass Plant, something like that, uh, wants to buy my straw. So I got three things to sell. Uh, now, I always keep saying that I uh, check my spreadsheet. And someone uh, uh, commented on one of my videos. <laughs> Believe it or not, someone actually commented on one of my videos. I have hardly any viewers at this point. But, you know, it is what it is. But uh, uh, they commented on my... Uh, video that they wanted to see what spreadsheet I was talking about. So let's take a look at my spreadsheet. Okay, so here's the uh, spreadsheet. Now over here on the left hand side, you can see I have all my field numbers, what I'm uh, planting in those fields. And then if it's green, it means it has to be planted. And if it's orange, it means it has to be uh, harvested. Now over here, I have all my equipment uh, that I'm going to buy next. The next biggest mulcher right here at the top is going to cost me 7,000, but I got to have 130 horsepower. Uh, tractor before I can buy it. Uh, I have all my other things here. I went through all the, the shop and looked at the next highest level of everything. And so I have it on there uh, as such. So the ones that are in red are ones that I don't think I'm going to need, so I'm not going to buy them. Uh, I mean, I could change my mind, which is why I leave them on there. The one in green you can see here is the one we have. That's our next target right there. So this keeps track of which equipment I'm going to buy and when. Uh, and then here's the one tractor I plan on owning for eventually uh, and the horsepower that it is. This I don't use anymore. This here are how I decide what I'm going to sell. So like, for instance, right now, wheat. Uh, the highest I've ever seen wheat sell for was $761. Uh, the lowest, uh, I'll take it at $639 by this one right here. It says 84%. Now, <clears throat> if I have wheat in my silo and I try to sell it, and nobody wants it, I would then take this down a percent to 83 And you can see now that now it says 632 is the lowest that I'll take it. Uh, if I sell wheat, put it back, if I sell wheat, I would up it by five, which would mean then it would go up to 677. So every time I, uh, don't sell something that I have in stock, it goes down by a percent. I discount it by a percent, but every time it goes up, uh, or I should say it'll go up 5% when I, uh, sell it, uh, on the market somewhere. And then these are just things so I can remember, uh, what to hit and, uh, when some things I always... Oh, we seem to forget them, so I got to rate them down here. And so that's how I'm deciding what we sell and what we don't sell. So when I say I'm looking at the books, this is what I'm looking at. So there it is, spreadsheet o -rama. Okay, so if we're going to go and sell our oats, we're going to have to go back here to red. It's a long walk, so let's do some running. Do some sprinting. You got to be in shape. You can be a farmer. All right, right on over here. We're going to go into red here, start her up. And then we're going to bag it up. And we're going to pick up our two trailers. I never separate these two because once you separate them, good luck trying to get them back together. 
Yep, I have a real hard time uh, backing up with these trailers because they have that front wheel that pivots. <laughs> That's no good. All right, so we're going to come over here. There we are. Over this way, and then we're going to back off so I can see the whole thing. There we go. And then we're going to go over to our silo and go under the spout so we can get ourselves some oats. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. No, we don't want wheat, not barley. Oats, not very many. Some is better than none. All right, so now we're going to whip it around the old drive here. There we go. All right, so we're going to head on down to, uh, when you sell things on Elm Creek, uh, you have to sell them through the railroad uh, if you're going to sell them to Goldcrest Valley. Uh, Goldcrest Valley has always offered the best prices, so I always sell to them. So we're going to head down to Goldcrest Valley, and so I'll see you when we get down there. All right, here we go. Up there on the right is the giant silo for the train station. Uh, but to get there, we're going to take, we're going to go in the back way. I know the guy that owns the plant. Uh, he lets me drive down here. That is one big field of corn. Yes, it is. All right, so we're going to snake our way back here. Just to give you an idea what this looks like. There we go. I don't know what this big building here on the left is for. I don't know. It looks like maybe they store bulk stuff. They got a lot of fans there on the left. So they got to keep it cool. So it might be, you know, I don't know, wood chips or something. I don't know. I don't work here. All right. So there is the drop-off point right up there on our left. Seems odd that I have to jump the curb to go in there. But I don't know how else to do it. So I'm going to jump the curb. Whoa, whoa, welcome to the jungle. All right, now we're going to zoom in here just a bit. Get down a little bit lower so we don't hit any walls. Here we go. Over to that bottom back and drops down. There we go. And now we're going to dump all of our oats into the silo. There they all go. They're all in. Ease it down. Ease it down. Nice big boom. There we go. Now we're going to take our tractor out here. I did not make any money off that, you may have noticed. Because you can only make money when you load it into the train. So we're going to stop it right here. Turn off. Get this. Get this. Hop out. And then we're going to come over here. Now next to this little uh, building here. I don't know what this is. Porta John? No, it's some kind of electrical building. Uh, you click on R, and you are going to call the train. So the train is coming. Uh, it'll be here soon. Uh, it's 3.7 kilometers away. It'll pull right up here, and then we'll take control. So uh, when the train gets here, uh, we'll come back. Here comes the train. And is it... Nope, here it comes right there. Oh, that's nice. What is that, an SD40? GP38. No, it's an SD40, I think. It is an SD41. That's close. All right, so we're going to get in the train. That's not how this works. you got to start up the train. you got to back up the train. Can I blow the train horn? I don't know. Yeah, let's see what it sounds like. Uh. Oh, wrong way. Back up. There we go. <laughs> I had the silly thing in forward. All right, so now we're going to back it up to that grain hopper in the front there. Probably going to put it in any one of those hoppers there, but I want to put it in the grain hopper in the front. That's what we're going to do. We're going to back it up underneath the silo spout. Or output, or whatever you want to call that. And then we're going to open the cover. It's going to be hard to see, but the covers are opening there. You see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then we're going to fill it. No, wrong button. We're going to fill it. Yes, with oats. Thank you. Start it. Short little squirt. Then we're going to shut the door. There it goes. Now we're going to ship this off to Goldcrest Valley. Again, it's the only way you can sell to Goldcrest Valley on this map. It's an off-map town. Here we go. We're on our way. And that's it. It kicks you off. Okay, yeah, we want to sell it. What do we make? $4,000. <laughs> that's nice. Okay, so it costs $70 to operate the train for just that little bit. It's $1,000 an hour, so it's, uh, it's pretty expensive. 
All right, so now we're going to run over here to our tractor, and I can see we now have $8,000. So we're going to go to our finances, and we are going to repay $5,000. So now we're only $25,000 in debt. That's nice. All righty. So uh, that is the oats sold. So the next thing we have to sell is going to be our grass to the animal dealer. So I'm going to head on back up to the farm. And when I get up there, I will load up the grass that we have. Look out! Oh, that was close. Maybe I should start looking both ways. <laughs> nah. Okay, we're on our way to the farm here now. Now this thing maxes out at 25 miles an hour. But this hill <laughs> is a killer. Come on now. We're down to 15 miles an hour. Oh, I got it floored. I got I got it down as hard as it'll go right now. Pedal to the metal. We're down to seven miles an hour. Come on. I think I can. I think I can. Yeah, you can. Little engine screaming, but she's making it. Up we go. Up we go. Almost. You can do it. There we are. That hill is a killer every time you come up, and let me tell you. Come to a complete stop, fail to look either way, and then around the corner we go. All right, here we are back at the farm. Now, I parked right over there. The trailers are over there. And now we're going to have to sell the grass to the animal dealer. Let's do some running. Uh, we got to come over here and get into blue. And then we're going to go over and pick up our John Deere trailer. The John Deere trailer is the one, again, that uh, auto loads bales for you. I don't know how many bales I have of grass, but we're going to find out. Oh, look out the stairs. Okay, good job. Turn around backwards here so I can see what's going on. There we go. Is that far enough? Looks like a beautiful thing. It is. Alright. Pull out the John Deere trailer. Let's head on over to the grass shed. Grass sheds the one on the far left. There is something in it. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> yeah, I probably should be watching where I'm going instead of looking at the grass shed. But, you know, stuff happens. All right, so we're going to pull over here. And then we're going to put it in operating position and turn off the engine. Hop on out. We want all the grass we got. 14,000, eh? So we want grass. We want to get it in the small bales. And we want all the bales we got. 29 bales. Go. Look at them. Look at them stacking up. Pretty maids all in a row. And now i got to be the first person to do this. Grab it up. Put it on there. There it is. Automatically stacks. Grab this one up. Do the same thing. Grab this one up. Yes, sir. Let's load. Three bales to go. There's one. Here's two. And here is three. Okay. There we go. Pop back into the truck. Start it up. Put it back in the transporting position. You don't really see anything happens. It happens. Really should try to smooth this hill out right here. Drive on my neighbor's crops a little bit. They don't mind. All right, so now we're going to take the freeway over to the animal dealer. All right, we just got off the freeway, and the animal dealers, these buildings up here on the right, and they want my grass. They want my grass! So I'm going to sell them my grass. Uh, how much are they going to give me for my grass? Uh, $74 uh, per 1,000 liters. So we have about 14,000, uh, so 14 times 7, whatever that turns out to be, I don't know. It's something. It's math. I know that. Okay, here's the animal dealer. Pull back here into the cell spot. And we're going to hit Y. Then we're going to hit Y again. Yeah! We made 1386. Okay, so that takes care of our grass bales. Now, the next thing and the last thing we got to sell today is our straw. We got a lot more straw. Although it's only going to sell for $62 uh, per thousand liters, so that's going to be a lower price. 
and they want it at the bioenergy, biogas plant. Uh, so we're going to run it down the biogas plant. Well, well first, obviously, we got to back to the farm, and we got to load it up. All right, so here we are back at the farm on my little road out back here. Whip it around. And there is our straw. We got a lot more straw. Our straw bales. So now we're going to get these loaded up. Ah, I didn't put it in operating position, did I? <laughs> no, I did not. So you got to start it. Operating position, turn it off. There we go, back out. We're going to come over here. Like this. Straw. Okay. We want the small bales. How many bales are we going to get? 139. That's a lot of bales. Yes, it is. Oh, 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 oh. That's a lot of bales. Still coming. Holy bales. I'm going to be loading for a while. Yeah. 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 It's still coming. Is it done? I think it's done. Okay. Uh, let me load these bales up. I'll get back at you. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, uh, no, wait, this is straw. Uh, that is one big pile of straw. It just is. It's just a big old pile of straw. So now we got to take this down to the biogas facility uh, where they're going to burn it for energy. So uh, let's take it down there. Why are those ones on top not just blowing right off? Look out! Coming through, boys! Look out! All right, so here we are coming off the freeway exit. Now, we haven't seen this part of the map yet, so I thought I'd, uh, you know, take you along with me. Getting off the freeway uh, freeway ramp. Here we go. Now we got to take a left here. Uh, sort of came up to the stop sign, not really. Of course, don't look. Here we go. All right. So this road is going to take us back under the freeway. Just like this. And there are some fields over here. Now there's another town over here. Is this Elm Creek? I don't know. I wonder if it says somewhere. Because uh, there's another place that's up near my farm. Uh, but I don't know that that one says Elm Creek either. It's, it's got a, it's got a sil uh, the cereal factory up here on the right. And then there's a dairy up there on the left. Someday I'll own it all. Own the whole town. It's going to be a while. Alrighty. So we go up over the bridge and the railroad tracks. Here we go. There we go. Take a right here. Now this spot up here on the right, this GW Green, is another place where you can drop off uh, grain and load it onto a train. In order to sell it in Gold Crest Valley. It's just, I don't ever use this one because the other one's just a lot closer to the farm. So I don't drive all the way out here. It doesn't, doesn't seem uh, hardly worth it. And there's the biogas plant up there on the right. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, don't drive off the road. And here we go. Let's see what kind of cash we're going to get for this load. Sells less than the grass, but we got a lot more of this than we had of the grass. Stop! Hit Y. Here we go. Great oogly moogly. How about that? We made ourselves $7,358. We're going to be able to go into our finances. We're going to pay back $10,000. Now we're only $15,000 in debt. And look at that, folks, huh? <laughs> it's, it's happening. It's all coming together. It's happening. Uh, okay, so that's all the sales we can do for today. Uh, so now we're going to head back up to the farm, and we are going to close out the end of August and launch ourselves into the beginning of September. All right, I want to start off by saying this was not my fault. They 
came in off the freeway and then they just stop. Yeah, now they're going to go. There you go. Love ya. Have a great day. All right. Not a bad day. Not a bad day. Yeah, because uh, we knocked uh, $15,000 off our debt. We're only $15,000 more in debt. And now we're going to end uh, the end of August, and we're going to start early September. Here we go. And here we go, early September. All righty. So I already uh, checked for maintenance. Nothing needs any maintenance right now. And I checked, uh, I reset all the... Uh, vehicle trips, uh, trip meter, so we're good with that too. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, work on the fields. Uh, as we all know, fields always first. FAF! That's what it is. Got to do the fields first. So uh, the fields we're going to do are field 16 and uh, field 49 today. Uh, now first thing I want to check is to make sure neither one of them need to be plowed. So let's go over here, over to here, over to here. Uh, field 49 is right here. It does not need to be plowed. And field 16 doesn't need to be plowed. The reason i got to check that out is because if it needs to be plowed, then you don't have to cultivate it. But if it does not need to be plowed, then you should cultivate it. You could actually either cultivate or plow. Uh, but I always cultivate when possible uh, instead of plowing. Uh, although I'm not sure why, because if you plow, then you don't need to weed. But when you got a sprayer like I got... How can you not want to weed? So anyway, uh, we are going to cultivate field 16. So let's ram into that. Yeah, that's good. Nice. All right. And field 16 happens to be right here next to the farm, just on the other side of the warehouse. So we're going to pull over here. Here we go. And we are going to set up with the GPS. So we're going to auto with it. Go like this. 90 degrees. There we go. And uh, that does not look good. We're going to have to move it a little bit more to the right. The blue thing. There we go. <laughs> okay. So then we're going to go like this. Get a better view here. Lock in the GPS steering. Lower the cultivator. And look at us, we're cultivating. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but if you sneak up on these crows, you can grab one. Then you can use it for food, for the pigs. Here we go. Shh, quiet, quiet. Get it, get it! Ah, oh, damn. There's another one. I'm gonna get it. Get it! Oh! Oh, I didn't know that one was there. Okay, so I just uh, cultivated field 16, and now we're going to head on down to field 49. Look at the teeth on this thing. Look at them! Thinking about taking this thing hunting with me next year. So on the way to uh, field 49, I had to stop by. The tractor needed a little maintenance, and the uh, cultivator needed maintenance. And if we look at our bills here now, we're back to $20,000 in debt. We're going in the wrong direction! Field 49... Here we go. There's Jim. Jim! My baloney has a first name, it's O-S-C-A-R. My baloney has a second name, it's M-E-Y-E-R. And I love to eat it every day, and if you ask me why, I'll say... Cause Oscar Mayer has a way with B-O-L-O-G-N-A. Soon may the weatherman come and bring us sugar and tea and rum. Then when the tongue's done, we'll take our leave and go. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Cause that's when I'll be done cultivating this field 
And there we go. Field 49 is finally cultivated. Well, we're going to, to end the video right here. Uh, thanks for watching Episode 6. Episode 7 is on the way. Again, if you don't like this uh, uh, video, if you didn't uh, think it was uh, you know entertaining, you don't like all the pee, pee and poo jokes, I don't know why you wouldn't because they're hilarious, and uh, you don't like the way in which I do these little montages and I'm singing and stuff like that, well, you know what? This just may not be the channel for you, huh? And how about you step off with all the complaints?